mutants, blasphemers, kobolds. We're back, baby. We've got some tight females walking around in this city, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay. All upon your knees before the eternal fire. Okay, you just have to chill. We can repair our gear from this guy. Need something sharpened, reforged. It doesn't look busy at all, so we'll we'll bother him. What do you have on offer? What about expensive to repair? Upgrade. Oh, remove upgrade. Hmm. Kind of sad, but yeah. Whatever. What do you sell, dude? A better sword even than what we have? Requires level 10. It seems pretty strong. We'll take it. Requires level 11. Plus 70 damage. On a silver sword. So we'll buy one silver sword, one steel sword. So long. Okay, let's put that new weapon in. Need something sharpened, reforged. What do you have on? Let me just sell this. Gives us eighteen crowns for it. Dude. Like what the heck? So long. Okay, let's continue on. We're gonna meet Triss now for the first time playing this game. Our Triss is your second love, by the way. And you can choose between... No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire in lions burns and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. No humans was injured during the making of this video. I'm just saying. If you were wondering. Don't mind me stealing all your papers. Where's my trust, dude? Hey, shut up. We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Die! Oh. Uh, me! Leave it to me! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Shit your pants already, big boy! Something like that. 
Are you sure about that? No, no, don't. No, no more, please. Where's the sorceress who lived here? Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Is it a single player game, Trixie? Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Because I think that is not a single player game. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief, follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that. Wooden scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Don't know much about small animals. <laughs> small animals. Can't say I'm really interested. I know your trade. Spotted those yellow eyes amidst the rabble in the square right away. Did you notice how much common folk love flames? The eternal fire will consume them all one day, one way or another. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine, and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Thanks for the warning. You can play co-op? Oh, so it's like, uh, it's like Borderlands then? Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! What is happening here with this camera, dude? I was gonna go after the thief, but I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Why is there 700 icons I can go to? Oh. One for the price of two. Oh, uh, like dung that flows hell. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Where it is, nothing's free in Novigrad. 
Oh, another one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this and I need to find that one who robbed me, brother. Fuck if I know. <laughs> There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't make no offense. Go in peace. Arms for the poor. Come Ooh. closer. Don't be shy. You'll find out everything Good day. you ever need. Good day. Uh. La la la. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, Hans. No, no. <laughs> what a hug. Yes, my prince. My prince. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? They don't have much money, do they? <laughs> I think we're fine. I don't I'm not gonna go through all this. So long. See right away I've got the best deals this side of the ponta. Oh, the whole day wasted. <gasps> oh. Stop! Come Thief. on! Come on! More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Oopsie. <laughs> Looking wobbly. Need some overripe sheep's feet. Holy moly, you're a scam. Thank you. Wait until you see my pee pee. Sir, sir, be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? My mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die of hunger. Get out of my way. What's a crowd to a gentleman like you? Is he a spitting? Piss off while I'm still willing to let you go. Oh, what a killer. Uh, the bonny birds that prance by here. Teeks like fool bellows begging to be. Show me where you're going, bro. Ah! What next? Discretionary tribute to benefit Redania or exile? Rumors, rumors, uh, just rumors. Talk. Uh, so Trixie, I'm gonna just say it again. So it's like Borderlands. It's offline, but you can play with friends if you wanted to. Because I most probably will play the, the game offline then if you sponsor it. This might take a minute. It's a pretty long follow quest, dude. <laughs> Goodness. Just die already, man. What are you doing? Oof. Am I looking at the burglar or am I looking at some ass? <laughs> Let me touch it. Jackass! Well 
will burn! Burn in the eternal fire! Hello, baby. Open up. FBI. Who are you and what do you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. Fine, I'll pay. No problem, Trixie. You may enter. Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. Right after you leave me your weapons. They'll be safe in the locker. Not in the habit of parting with my swords. In that case, we must part. Sod off now. Open up. Oh, my old friend there. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. They'll be safe in the locker. Fine, dude. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you once you're done with the king. What ails you? Can't see out one eye, my lord. him as rain. <coughs> what the heck? All right, Miracle, you've worked. I'd like to repay you. Convince those knaves on the city council that our things. Good. Yes, Tris. Motorboat time, dude. Time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding riverfish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? That's fine. Temple Guard tolerate your little operation. Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like it's true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd of rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This here's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. 
I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. That is some red hair she got there, dude. Now she's hiding it. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on. Let me give you a taste of my luck. Mm, please. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Nice to hear a few kind words, but my friend needs his weapons. Course, I got them. Said I'd have them and give them back. So I'm giving them back. Here's your junk. Thanks. You watch out for yourself, miss. Novigrad's not what it used to be. Not a city for you. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? I don't know, girl. She got some weird animation running. It's like, it's like her arm goes up at the wrong time with the wrong leg. That's how it seems like. Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. They got a guy to talk by tickling him? What the heck? I think we have the wrong sword. Yeah. So Trace is coming with us. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. 
Klug wouldn't have sent it here if there wasn't. There must be a lever on this wall that'll open the secret path. Wait a minute, woman. What did we just get there? Plus 101 vitality. I think that alone makes this a way better chest. Art sign, we're not going to use that much. Resistance to piercing damage. What is blood? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. I think this chest is better. Gloves. Two armor better. It's heavier. Now I'll keep our gloves. <laughs> She's just thinking there. Well, I find the secret passage using the Witcher Sense. Free city of no actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nguyen, thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war... Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. I have a great time. Is what I'm talking about, dude. I'm becoming a read speech. Nice. Check out the new armor we got again. Why is it always a chess piece, dude? Like... Light armor. It's minus one, but... Art sign, resistance to piercing. Oh, we just got this. the parcel or did you get wet for no reason nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal found a few fish a rusty anchor the carcass of a boat oh and this oh my package hope the contents aren't soaked through oh you're a doll thanks seem to be in your element still remember my elements how i use them <coughs> come on six months isn't that long it's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. What's up, bro? Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. 
You've agreed a price? We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Full coin purse. How much is it? Like 200? All right, then. Let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. How would you look for rat shit? No, I'll cast a spell. Teach me the spell. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Just glitched. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Are you truly, or just pretending? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. We all lie sometimes, but lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? <laughs> She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. I'll kill him for that. Get him from 
If not for you, we need to find Brandon. What's up, bitch? Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is... You'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. F fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know... I've been thinking who might know something about Siri, and I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. kareen has been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. <laughs> it was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. Alright. See you later. I'm scared that it would be too nice, if that makes sense. Because I know what she means when she's saying it would be nice. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Oh, Why is my beard brown? Years, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. From a white to a brown beard, what? I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're all ready to end them. Should we loot this place? What's happening here? <laughs> Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. Check the attic. 
Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. I'm getting paid for the request, dude. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Cow's milk. What do we have here? Way to the next room is blocked. Not anymore. Second floor. I wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Cradle on the second floor. Oopsie. Masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop. Go away. Must be on the first floor. Leave it. Maybe here. Here we go. Found it. Boo! Did I scare you? <laughs> scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? Hey? <laughs> if it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these rays. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers. Especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. 
for good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I think she would like, uh... What is that guy in the forest again? I forgot his name. The other boy in the forest. He's also alone. They're also a godling. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. All right, then. Let's go tell him his house is no longer haunted. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. <laughs> Truth is, we're all... So there we go. Problem solved. You shouldn't go live in the house because... We'll give it to the godling. The if they weren't, if they weren't rare, uh, I would have like just killed her or kicked her out, right? But she was cute, and they're rare. I don't know if I have to repair my gear. Reforged. What do you have on offer? Can we uh, repair? We can. We also have a lot of gear we could just, like, sell, right? Uh, this one we're gonna use at level... at level 11. Okay, I guess that's fine. So long. The whole day sick. What was it happened to Meet Corinne. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for anyways? It's to help men in need. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa, master. You best watch your words. We share a trade, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs. Sh shut it. We'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? 
out of my way. We won't do it. I will. <laughs> I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witcher some manners. What? Lost your nerve? Can I teabag? Enough. We've seen your point, Master. Go home. You're done here. I don't think he even landed a hit, to be honest. I Hi. How are you doing? I, see a challenger who seeks to I think the music that's gonna play now is copyright. I need a rhyme. Can you help? Sure. I've such a hard time finding inspiration. Best not cause any trouble at the end. We need to go up somehow. Here we go. Ram, ram. Oh, sorry, woman. Hello, girl. Little scared, but let's do it. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Mm -mm -mm. Trying together. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though of her coming out of her room one day wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed knew then that siri was maturing it was unavoidable i was lost in the face of that i see do you wish to tell me anything more no <laughs> okay no let's continue You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Uh, she can blink. She had trouble controlling them. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes and no, both is correct answers. Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone... The emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion. Who the heck is that? 
Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Is this dandelion? the dreams can multiply show the past as well as the future the swallow it symbolizes siri she contacted dandelion i didn't know he was in town the poet heard about him someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will thanks for your help good luck witcher i hope you find your siri why thank you good woman don't loot that. No glass tastes as sweet. Taste the salt you don't leave me to Go to Rosemary. Find the guards. They're worse than thugs. They hit each other exactly at the same time. This must have been extremely hard to program. Hey, now. When I'm done with you, you'll squirt your kidneys. I don't know what to say about that, dude. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't think this quest is too far away. 170 meters, but... I still think it's inside the town. Rosemary and Thyme. Look awfully suspicious to me. Hard I time to never let you come in. No, this is right here. Life, you gotta think we Hello, baby. How much? The more you drink, the clearer you think. Are you sure about that? Um, that guy is standing on the floor. Um, I think that, yeah, the door is locked, dude. They're not gonna like it if I touch their stuff. Broken flowers. You mean broken broken game? The game shows us to walk in there. An 
never come back, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Here to join me? With pleasure. Ever find a witcher? This action is not allowed during combat. That's it, you're in for it. Back in the back. Keep it together, legs. I'll slay you like a jump. <laughs> Reminds me of a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah. It's like we never left Bergen. Who are they? No. Time to end this. Leg it. Get out of here, man. Uh, what the heck? Beast. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman need to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Though. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar in some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Well, I guess this is another part done. Thank you so much for being here.